to Washington now. Two days to go to avoid a partial government shutdown. President Biden met with congressional leaders in the Oval Office with the clock ticking. Our senior congressional correspondent, Rachel Scott, has the latest. Good morning, Rachel. Michael, good morning to you. And this will be down to the wire once again. The House is just barely returning back to Washington with just two days to go until that partial government shutdown. President Biden calling the top congressional leaders to the White House to try and hash out a deal. If they do not reach one by Friday, then several key agencies, including transportation and veteran affairs, will start running out of funding. That means 100,000 federal workers could go without a paycheck. Now, sources tell us that inside of this meeting at the White House, the leaders were optimistic that they can reach a deal by Friday. But when the conversation turned to the topic of providing additional funding to Ukraine, that's where things turned tense. And House Speaker Mike Johnson was the odd man out. We are told that every single leader in the room tried to convince him to pass additional funding to Ukraine. And the hardest sell came from his fellow Republican, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Speaker Johnson, though, well, he made no promises. And of course, it was just weeks ago that he rejected the type of bipartisan compromise that he once called for. Additional aid to Ukraine and Israel in exchange for border security provisions. He says it did not go far enough, George. Okay, Rachel, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.